Hello and welcome to part 2D of my Blender to Unity uh, tower defense game tutorial. I'm calling these tutorials. I've got told that maybe these aren't tutorials are more like walkthroughs because actually I'm learning as I go and I guess that's probably true. So take my word tutorial with a pinch of salt but I hope it's being useful for you and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. In this one we're going to try and model this uh, missile launcher. I have yet to find a texture, a texture that I really really am pleased with if you like a texture map that's that's worked out you can see I've got some chevrons at the back here got some side uh, indents I don't know it's it's not really working for me I'm not I'm not 100% happy uh, I'm not totally devastated it looks okay and I think from a distance it'll look absolutely fine so let's crack on and and work on this missile launcher turret now so what I'll do is I'll actually discard the uh, the one that we've got and that's how that's how confident I am that uh, we're going to do it right this time let's uh, go click on select and you should be going to your tower defense models missile launcher folder and double clicking on missile launcher.fbx and I'll click OK there to load that up make sure the document resolution is 1024 but you can change that later anyway there it is okay a nice empty thing let's quickly bake those textures I'm going to set it to 1024 by 1024 and the anti-aliasing to 2x2 two two, but you should set that to probably 4x4 four four at a minimum and go and make yourself a cup of tea if you've got a slow computer or uh, if you've got a fast computer uh, just uh, have a biscuit okay just to, let's just talk about what we're going to do we're going to we're going to create two folders one for the barrels and one for the uh, main unit and then we'll, se we'll separate those those textures out if you like into separate sections it'll be one one base texture image um, but uh, but we, we'll keep them in, in, to, in separate folders. I'm going to add some chevrons at the back and some indents at the side. Okay, so let's start with the main unit here. I will create a fill layer. I'll just delete this layer for now, and I'll create a folder as well. And let's just excuse me. Or I thought I click folder. Let's click folder. There we go. And I'll just drag that fill layer into the folder. And let's pick. We won't want the normals for now, but I think for everything else, let's just pick a color. I've been going with a blue kind of darkish blue that looks a bit more purpley but that's fine somewhere around there okay under um, metallic I've been leaving that sort of I don't know about 0.2 the roughness I used a an image texture for it I can't remember which one it was I think it was black and white spots one yes I'm happy with the ish with the way that looks possibly a little too rough so let's just quickly click on the uh, roughness channel and just drag that down to something that's not quite so brutal there like that um, let's just call this base settings okay um, and under the height I, yeah, I, just, I just picked one I think I can't remember which one it was any one that's fractal sum there you go um, and then as usual just click on the height channel and drag this down to something like 2 Yeah, I think two. I've actually nailed it. So low, isn't it? You can, but it's, it makes you can still see it. If I just quickly turn, uh, how can I turn the height channel off? Yes, yeah, so if I just do that, it makes a difference, doesn't it? So it's worth having that. Okay, right, that's done. Uh, we need to make sure that this isn't affecting the barrels. So what we'll do is we'll add a black mask to the folder. Let's just call this main unit as well, and we'll click on there and select the polygon fill these are separate meshes I don't know if you remember but they're not they're not attached to each other so you can actually just click on the mesh fill and then click on the main unit and it will select everything but the barrels and that's the only mesh that we have two meshes that we have okay uh, you can see here that, that selected everything but the barrel which I think is at the top right of our unwrap okay good we're doing well so far let's now add ourselves some some trusty edging so let's do that by adding a fill layer Pick, I like to pick the color first, so let's, let's just unselect these for a second. Let's just pick up, excuse me, the material first. So let's spin over to materials, and pick something that we like, maybe cobalt. I like cobalt. It's just. Oh, we need the metal, do we? Okay. Okay, I'm assuming the metal is uh, overridden. Uh, is linear dodge. So let's now add that black layer, add black mask to that, and then we'll add. My favourite smart mask, concrete edges two. Okay, and as so we'll call we'll call this edges. Um, I will call it dirt. 
Okay, and we'll quickly spin back to the paint layer. And I think what I'll do as well is I'll add my favourite filter, the sharpen filter. Yes, I like that. I might bring it down a little bit. I like to just, just see what the, see how much we need. That's good. We're off to a very good start. That's okay. Let's drag it. Um, another mask in. I can never remember which one I want to go for, but let's try. Let's try. Hmm. <laughs> Dirt complex. Let's try that. Yeah, that I like that. And we'll just drag that below. That we have, we have to press Alt. You have to select it and then click Alt down to move it below. And then make sure you click on the base color and change the uh, channel type to linear dodge. And that'll make sure the other one comes through. Okay, it's a little bit brutal for my tastes right now on that uh, uh, edging. So we'll just click on the mask editor there and just bring the balance down. I think as well as probably just grab the linear dodge and just pull that back a touch just to just to make it a little less brutal this is going well so far we haven't had to use um, triplanar have we I don't know if that's gonna make a lot of difference no it hasn't good so I like that initial one I'm gonna add a yellow ish uh, dirt to it as well so let's just do that now I think all I'm gonna do is just unselect these ones and just make it the base color dynamic click a yellow pick something like that okay and we'll just call, we'll call this yellow I can't think what else to put yellow dirt okay add a black mask and then oh, I can't remember which one it was I think it was something like dust soft dust subtle did I drag that D dust subtle just drag that in I don't like that I'll say a little bit sharper than that uh, what about fibers how does that look that's too much I know that we've got um, dirt complex yeah that's okay I know you think it's a bit strong and let's let's sort that out now um, let's make that linear dodge obviously and just drag that down just so it shows that it's coming through I might it doesn't look very yellow does it but that's okay I might try and I might up the click on here actually up the amount I know it sounds crazy And then um, click back on here and lower this. Keep lowering that down until it's nearly gone. Now, I, I, the more I look at it, the more I don't like that mask. Let's quickly get rid of it and just do another one. Dirt dry. Let's try that. You know what? I think I'm going to go with that. Just for speed. Okay. Dirt dry. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, it's probably a little bit rougher than I'd intended. Now we can maybe fix this by going back to you and just lowering the colour down a bit. Is that gonna? Yeah. Maybe somewhere around there. That's okay. That's okay. Um, the next thing I did was I added that those chevrons to the back, didn't I? So let's just quickly do that. Uh, the way I went about this was I went to my. Um, Let's just bring up the a new window and just click on uh, desktop, which I have here. I downloaded this warning.jpg from the internet. Again, you know, don't be doing this unless you uh, plan on giving your game away for free. If you're going to start charging, make sure you grab textures that are uh, readily, uh, uh, fully available, and you know, allow you to uh, distribute them in games and make a profit on them. So let's let. Well, I always make this mistake before I before I uh, import it. I'm just going to do file save. And I will save it as missile launch.spp. You see a couple of files that I've already been doing in my previous test. So let's just do that and say yes, I'll replace it. And now if I spin back here and drag that in, you can import it into the shelf if you like and it'll be there forever. But sometimes uh, it's good just to import it for the current project. So I will do missile launcher. Okay. So if we're going to do it, we need to add it. So let's click on just a regular layer. Boom. We will select the base color go down to we find it if, if this is alphabetical which it usually is no it's in a weird order I think okay warning maybe maybe my spelling isn't as good as it should be and we only really want this to affect the color channel don't we uh, in fact we have to for uh, stamping and we'll unselect the alpha we'll just get remove the alpha there's no jitters set which is always a bonus 
we'll scale this bad boy up and we'll stick it on and I'll just I'll, I'll drag it across as well so that it's um, it fits so let's try about there because this is a seamless texture I'm able to do this which is shift control left uh, shift control drag and then left click again and it actually um, it's it completely um, it's, it's completely seamless it's not completely centered though so let's just pull that across a bit over here just drag that over there now I've gone too far look typical <laughs> let's try about there oh it's not close enough is it I'm sorry guys this uh, so I'm gonna uh, control Z and just <laughs> position it like this uh, stamp shift control right for goodness sakes that's close enough for me now okay that's in I'm gonna add some dirt and just kind of wear and tear on it and we can do that just by clicking back over here clicking on dirt get rid of that and making a color sort of darkish like that what have I gone for dirt one I think dirt three is my favorite one just scale that up just start playing with these dirt brushes to the find one you like I'm not sure if I'm totally liking that but I'm gonna do it for speed if you don't like that one pick a different one that's not too bad I'm just sort of just speckling it around okay and then I'm just gonna add some wear and tear to it so if I go to the eraser uh, tool annoyingly it resets everything but that's okay we can click on dirt 3 possibly dirt 1 I'm gonna go with dirt 1 um, it's we're on the eraser aren't we let's just quickly have a go yes that is erasing everything good I trust we've got some jitters we have what you tend to do is have to do is just try and play with the um, with the flow with the with the size and the flow just until you get something you like so I'm just gonna wear these edges down a bit just kind of just scattering it across this is looking very grubby now I like grubby okay that's good uh, yes that's good enough for me yes all right I'm good again you might want to tinker with the settings tinker with the flow just to get yourself a little bit more sort of a clean look uh, to your grunge if, if you know what I'm saying right next up so let's just call that chevron back chevron back chevron yeah I don't know of course I've got whatever you like let's add some indents to the side what I did was I added some uh, vertical lines so let's just add a new one we'll call this side vertical lines it's a brush yes it is and we're gonna go and find my line it's uh, we need to take ourselves off of eraser mode and of course that'll probably set everything back yes go back to paint mode okay we will set the angle to 90 degrees and then just pick a size oh excuse me control and drag that down there we go okay that looks about right now I know that we want to put some spacing on here to about 26 you can play with these settings it's just I want to make it affect the color and the height and it's an indent so let's just drag that right down and stick on mirror mode there we go on the x-axis if it wasn't already click oh, hey, I must have jitter on Yes, I have lots of jitters. Okay, right, let's try again. Click and then Shift Control, click again. Yes, I like that. Apart from the fact that it's not, I think well, let's just try nudging the spacing down to twenty-five. Then see if that'll squeeze one more in. If I go right over there, and then Shift Control, right. Yeah, that's going to work. I just need to start slightly over to the right-hand side, don't I? So just about there. Like I say, you can tell this isn't a science, just because I'm just sort of positioning stuff. But I do like the fact that it gives you a, a straight line. Um, what have I done wrong? I'm going to start a bit further over to the right. Let's try there. I'm going over here. Jobs are good. It's a bit too colourful. Uh, let's just quickly change the base colour to multiply and lower the opacity just so it shows through but not too much. Actually, no, no, the other way around. We want it to kind of be subtle, but yeah, yeah. 
Good. Yes, good. The top piece, I could not get my head around what to do. So what I ended up doing was just winging it. So let's do that. What I did was, let's add a new layer for top lines. The lesson I'm learning is add as many channels as you as you can because if you if you make a mistake excuse me that is still 90 um, if you make a mistake or you don't like one piece then you can uh, very quickly unselect it if I perhaps put for instance those lines and the top lines in the same channel and I wanted to get rid of one of them it would have been difficult I'd have had to use the eraser and mess around what have we got here color and height is good so I'm going to try somewhere in the middle Again, I've got, I've got mirror mode on if you can see that, and I'm using orthographic F6 to keep everything dead straight. And I'll just click there, shift control, click again. Okay, yes. This happened last time, I got a little bit of a lip, I messed it up. So let's just start, make sure we start. That's a tab mode, eh? Let's go full screen, let's do this. Let's just click. Make sure we click with the uh, circle inside the uh, uh, at the top, and we'll click there. Shift click, shift, control, drag, click again. It hasn't done the bottom bit, but that's okay because we're just going to come down here and we're going to do it by hand. Such is the power that you can zoom in; and it will keep the same scale. Let's see if it's overlapped. I'm comfortable that that's barely noticeable. Okay, I like that. Again, same rules probably apply. I'm just going to bring that. I'm going to make this multiply, and just drag this. Oh, drag this one down. Just so it's noticeable. Okay, we're almost there with with the main unit. You you may want to go to ten. Perhaps a different color, or maybe even a texture up here. I'm not sure. I could not find something that I was really happy with. And so I'm just going to add a couple of uh, just one normal, I think, to the bottom here, just to show that it's the backside. So let's. Add a new layer. We'll just call this normal, normals, something like that. Normals. Um, we'll unselect the alpha, get rid of everything but the normal. Okay, and we'll just pick ourselves. I think one of the handles was the ones I liked. It's hard to know. Maybe that one. That looks a bit too fancy, doesn't it? Um, Handle 25, there's a lot of handles. Okay, let's just, let's go with that because it looks interesting. We're going to need to turn it 90 degrees, possibly minus 90. Let's, oh, it's already turned. Let's just turn it to zero. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's just give that a go. Let's just scale it down a bit. Click it. I like it. Do you know, I was very tempted to put that at the other end as well. So if I just do a quick mirror on the Z, yes, it looks maybe like it's the, that's the carry handles for the. Uh, how's that? Yeah, I'll leave it up to you to decide if you think that's uh, a bit too stupid. I think it looks okay. Okay, let's finish off with doing the barrels. Um. So we'll close this one down. We will add a new folder. It drags it in there, which is frustrating, but let's just do that. And we'll just call that barrels. So I just dragged it out and I will add a fill layer inside it. Or, or rather I'll create a fill layer and then drag it in. And then very quickly add a black mask to the um, barrels. And if I select this, no, if I select this and then UV, make sure that it's mesh fill. Click that. Okay. Let's it has worked. I'm just going to pick a different color to prove it. There. Okay. Um, this is barely visible, so I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. Let's just pick a nice dark. I don't know why I went with red. What, what? Um, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to flat black. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to um, add another layer, um, which I'm going to do as. Do you know what? Tell me to just do white and then um, add a black mask. I struggled with this for a little while to find a decent one. Concrete Edges 2 did not cut it. Now I'm just going to qu quickly try a couple of these guys. Just try Concrete Edges 1. You see, it's just it's gone a bit, it's gone a bit bonkers. Um, 
If I can't find it, I'll go with Concrete Edges too. Cavity Rust. That's kind of, oh, I like Cavity Rust. Maybe use that for something else. Uh, let's go. Okay, we're going to go with Concrete Edges. If you can be bothered, you could uh, uh, put a bit of brushwork on there. I'm obviously going to lower that down in terms of the balance. Okay. I might, I might add the old favourite, the old Sharpen Filter. Let's have, oh, uh, Sharpen Filter. How does that look? Yeah, maybe. Let's just let's just bring it into something like that. Okay, let's add some indents in here so that it. Uh, in here. Why is I saying here? <laughs> so we've we'll got that black. Okay, and we'll add a, a, a kind of hole normal. I'll show you. It'll be clear when I've done it. So click on the black. Click on add a layer. The layer. Make sure the jitters are off, and they are. Click on the alpha here, and we want to the alpha alpha. 0.9 is fine, or 0.9 whatever. Uh, switch off normals, which I thought I had. Switch on color and height. Bring that down. Just try and find a color that you like the look of. I think that's possibly too dark. Let's just. Can you see because it, because they share the same texture space by clicking on one, it's affected all of them. I like that. I think I picked a good colour there. What was that? It was a kind of blacky, reddy colour. If you're not happy as usual, so we'll just call that holes. If you're not happy as usual, let's, we can always just perhaps multiply. It's never. I'm never sure if it's multiply or linear dodge. Linear dodge, and then just drag it down till it's worth doing it at this level rather than using the flow tool because you can, the flow tool is a one-way street once you click stamp, whereas here you can adjust it. There, I like that. Okay, overall, I would say this is probably one of the best efforts I've made so far. I'm still not really happy with it. It just there's something about it. Perhaps it's because there's, there's so little. Um, it's such a basic mesh. Perhaps that's why it doesn't look as good as some of the other stuff. I'm not. I'm not dissatisfied though. I think that's gonna that's gonna fly. It's certainly going to look great when it's spinning around and firing loads of missiles out of the out of the turret to, to perhaps eight at a time when you've got it maxed out on level level eight. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that's made some sense. As always, I really really appreciate the amount of subscribers and likes and listeners that have been um, watching this. And so you know, I'm absolutely blown away with the uh, with the support I'm getting for this project so please continue to subscribe and like if you want to see some more. I will continue. I think the next one we're going to do will be the machine gun turret. I'll try and work on that in the next couple of days and then get that out to you very, very shortly. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.